Hey YouTube, my name is Wes Eirich. Uh, this is my 2015 uh, Corvette Stingray. Um, today we're going to go over what it takes to install a trailer hitch on one of these. Um, so uh, the mechanical installation of the hitch itself and also the wiring to hook up to the trailer. So uh, let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna start here um, with the license plate. So I already installed the hitch part, uh, and I'll kind of go through that process um, once we get the bumper off, and uh, then we'll go through the wiring harness. So first things first, we'll take off the license plate. Just uh, two stainless steel screws here. And you can see I already have the uh, trailer hitch installed. So what I did here is uh, the factory bumper has a cutout similar to that. Um, and I was able to cut it out a little wider to allow for the trailer hitch and enough room to get in to put the, uh, the hitch pin. So this is uh, what I came up with for a design. I was able to find this uh, trailer hitch bracket, I think it was meant for a pickup truck, that just had a 90 degree face here. Uh, that's what I was looking for. It was about 20 bucks at Walmart. Um, but what I did is I essentially used the areas for uh, mounting your chains as actually mounting it against the frame rails here. Um, and then also I had an L bracket that I, that I purchased and drilled holes in to then bolt to this and make sure that I had four bolts holding this to the frame. These are 5 8 inch bolts. Uh, I think they're four inches long so that they go all the way through the frame. On the back I have backing plates and then washers um, so that it won't be able to pull through. And then I also repurposed the holes that were mounted on the trailer hitch for uh, the chains. Now that we have the lower bumper removed, um, we're going to start removing the top bumper. Um, so if you were just doing the trailer hitch part, you, would, you could get away with just removing the lower bumper. In this particular case, I want to do a wire harness to connect to my trailer. Um, so I have to remove the, uh, the top section. So you can see here we have the smaller red wire uh, coming off the battery and the fuse is right behind it. Uh, that runs out this way towards the back of the trunk. We come around power comes out of this boot here with the um, with the coax for the antenna comes out this way and then this is where we mounted actually in here uh, this is where we mounted the module there was a sheet metal bracket there that we just zip tied it to the ground is the white wire it comes off and we ran to the uh, strip here on the bumper then we have the connectors going out on this side out to the left turn signal and brake and the green wire on this side out to the right turn signal um, and then the last thing we did is we added some strain relief to the uh, wire here so that with the zip ties here that's not going anywhere okay so we're gonna go through the installation now take off the license plate okay so there's the trailer hitch and I have the I have the uh, cord here tied up there, so I'll move that to the side, take my hitch, put that in, slide in my pin, okay, I'm going to move the trailer up. This one over here, this one over here, 
And then uh, the wiring harness. So you got plenty of length on both of these. Actually, probably gonna put this underneath here, take up a little slack. And, uh, slide that together. So we're gonna do a test of the lights now. Wes, hit the brakes. Okay? Left turn signal. Right turn signal. Okay. Flashers. That was a demonstration of the lights.